Hey guys, I am teaming up with Luke Review 76 to go where no Doctor Who YouTuber has gone before. No wait, that's Star Trek. Anyway, we will be looking at the history of the Doctor Who DVDs and we are doing it with not one Doctor Who collection, but with two collections. We are super excited to bring this to you guys. So without further ado, let's kick off this new video series on the Doctor Who Guide. The best box set that you can buy for Doctor Who. Hey guys, welcome to the Doctor Who Guide, helping you grow your Doctor Who knowledge, your collection, and your connection with other Doctor Who fans. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, definitely subscribe for new videos every single Saturday. I'm your host, Alex Patterson, and I am super excited to team up with Luke Review 76 to bring you guys a new video series on the channel. Now, the way I found out about Luke's channel is through his DVD history series that he did on his channel. So we are super excited to bring to you a DVD history that is like the history he did on his channel, but it is leveled up because we are using not one Doctor Who DVD collection, but two. He'll be bringing the Region 2 UK collection, and I'll be bringing the Region 1 DVD US collection. Now, if you want to know about what regions are, you can learn all about that in a video that we had our uncles do. Both of our uncles are professors and look nothing like us, but they do know a lot about DVD regions, so we had them do a video explaining all about that. So definitely check that out, as well as our video on the major differences between between a UK Doctor Who DVD and a US Doctor Who DVD. So you can check those out. They'll be linked up above as soon as they are live on the channel. So let's let Luke introduce himself. Thanks so much for being on the channel. His channel will be linked in the description down below and in the card up above. So hello, I am uh, Luke Reviews. Um, I'm going to be on this channel doing this uh, series with uh, Alex. Uh, he's very kindly said I can do this sort of thing with him. So yeah, so a bit about me before we get into uh, the really sort of well, to us, interesting stuff, to other people, wait, sorry, people actually are interested in this, but anyway, so we want that. well, I'm a Doctor Who YouTuber, and I, uh, I have, um, this kind of hair, which is nice, it's also a reference to something, I, I do this sometimes in videos, I will reference pe people's YouTube videos, and if you know what, please do say in the comments, but I can't imagine people will get that one, anyway, uh, yeah, so my favourite story, Spear from Space, and if you disagree with me while you're wrong, it is the best story, and yeah, I'm a bit cynical at times. Favourite Doctor Sean Pertwee because, well, that's enough said really, isn't it? Uh, I, obviously I'm British, could you tell? And uh, yeah, I do mainly sort of review kind of things. I also do quite a few live streams, uh, especially now at the moment I am off. And I also do opinion pieces, and uh, just to word of my opinion pieces are sort of, if I have an opinion on something, I am not afraid to sort of use, how do you put it, language that is not I don't know, but I, I swear, quite a bit in my videos at times, uh, and not as much in my reviews, but yeah, I'm going to be very clean on this channel, it's going to it's gonna be a bit of anything I think, because at times, well, it slips out, but you know, welcome to Northern British people. Anyway, yeah, that's me, um, can't even think much more to say, oh yeah, I'm always right no matter what, because I'm British. Anyway, let's move on. So yes, welcome to the channel. I'm not always right, okay? I'm here to learn. I'm growing my knowledge too, I think. So what I want to do in each video is have sort of a competition between Luke and me to see whose Doctor Who collection grows the most every single year, and we'll keep a leaderboard and see uh, who wins in the end. But Luke, you are going down. So tell us what is in your Doctor Who collection if you were to collect in 1999. So, 1999, Britain. Well... What did we get, Doctor Who? Well, on the 1st of November, we got the Five Doctors Special Edition. And that was it. it. It's a bit depressing at the end of the day, but we got it. Wow, that is a huge collection there, Luke. Uh, yeah, I'm totally taking you down. <laughs> Let me tell you what we got. We got nothing. Zip. Zilch. Nada. Okay, you win this round, Luke. Just barely, by one DVD. One of the questions I want to know, and we're just going to go into the discussion part of this, where Luke shares some of his incredible knowledge, and I just look on in awe. Um, but one of the things I've always wondered is, why did the Five Doctors have a special edition and a 25th anniversary edition, but never like a normal edition? Luke, help me out, answer my question. Why is this a thing? Why did this DVD exist? This is a bit of a story, actually. In 1999, 
the BBC thought, let's do a, let's see if the DVD market is worth going into at this point. They chose six DVDs. They chose Naughty in Toyland, uh, The Best of Monty Python's Fine Circus, The Complete First Series of Black Abbey, The Planets Volume 1, and Pride and Prejudice, I believe, and of course, Doctor Who. Why was The Five Doctors chosen? Uh, well, you may have heard me use the term special edition. This is because in 1995, the BBC sort of Enterprise's sort of special edition department sort of went on the bandwagon of George Lucas is doing Star Wars films and reading the effects, let's do it with Doctor Who. They chose the five Doctors, so this is actually in 5.1 surround sound and could really use the DVD format to its fullest at that time. So that's why it was chosen. Now, it's got some differences and things in uh, the stuff, but more on that later. But that's pretty much why that was chosen. Uh, there was, wasn't really many problems with it. Uh, it's disc, well, have to wait and see for that one, I'm afraid. But yeah, uh, Alex. Wow, well, that explains a lot. Okay, so they just sort of started out with a special edition. That is awesome. Luke, show us what a Doctor Who DVD collection in the UK would have looked like in 1999. 1999. That was a collection. Um, yeah. Wow, wow, humble beginnings. Goodness. Okay, so this is what a Dark 2 DVD collection would have looked like in 1999. As you can see, we're off to a brilliant start. We've got so many DVDs here, it's hard to keep track of them, really. Okay, so I'm going to start off this time because, boy, did we get a lot of DVDs here in Region 1. Oh yeah, we're, we're coming back, Luke. We're going to, right, I'm going to get a point this round, okay? Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, what is it? Again? Okay, so it looks like we didn't get Doctor Who DVDs this year either. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to you, Luke. So in the year 2000, we got uh, another release. The Robots of Death, this was released on the 13th of November. So a whole, almost year, well, over a year gap between the first two releases. <sighs> well, sort of, how did this come about? Well, basically, it's obviously a new format. Uh, there are a few things in the actual menus which uh, I'm going to quickly go into. Basically, the plan was with the Doctor Who DVDs to have the uh, title intro, the uh, theme music, to intro. You, you've all got Doctor Who DVDs. You know what it is. The TARDIS goes and it's got that music on the. Dun -dun -dun. It was going to be that that Doctor's theme music was going to be played. So, on this one, it is Tom Baker's theme music. This is dropped though, and as you know, we have that lovely thing which is so nostalgic for me because. Even as a child, I was incredibly sad. And, uh, well, not really much more to say about this one, uh, because, well, I can't compare it with the American one, because... Uh, <laughs> we got DVDs and you didn't. Ah! Well, what can I say, really? Well, I mean, it's British. Can you tell I'm British as well? I don't quite think I've made that clear, so I just thought, let's just, let's, let, you know, let, right, I'm British. I'm British. I'm British. In case anybody's wondering, Luke is British. <laughs> okay, so it looks like you won that round, Luke, again. Let's see what a Dark 2 DVD collection would have looked like in the UK in 2000. So 2000, the collection was looking like this. This is obviously in timeline order. Uh, yeah, it, it looks quite bad to be honest. You've got a really nice sort of cover, and then this monstrosity. Yeah, monster, burn it, burn it with fire. I'm joking. Burn it with oil instead. Anyway, um, yeah, this is in release order. A massive difference has gone here, as you can see. This DVD has moved from there to there. Now this is a shocking twist and spoiler, so sorry, spoilers everybody, but this DVD in release order will move from there to there. Not on command, you can't speak to it, don't start speaking to DVDs because then you really do need some help. Move, move, just move, why won't you move? Why won't you move? But yeah, it, it, uh, it shocked me the first time, I'm sure you're all shocked. In fact, I think we've shocked the world, I think we need everyone, everyone to take a five minutes to just take this in. It's moved from there to there. <sighs> wow! Mind is blown! I need to take a minute, like, I'm just still in shock. Let's take a look at my collection. Okay, so it's been yet another year. 
this is what the Doctor Who DVD collection looks like in 2000. Still nothing. So, uh, I'll, I'll give you that time, Luke. I'll give you that time. Anyway. Thanks so much for watching the debut of this video series. More videos will be coming out, so definitely subscribe for those. Thank you so much for joining me, Luke. Definitely subscribe to his channel. I will totally beat you next time, Luke. I'm gonna come back from your two-point lead. Comment down below with your best facts about Dark Two DVDs and about these ones. As the Region 1 collection gets more DVDs, we will be comparing them side by side and sort of talking more in depth about the DVD differences. My name is Alex Patterson and subscribe to the Dark Two Guide to grow, guess what, your knowledge, your collection, and your connection with other Dark Two fans. Bye! We hardly ever talk, you don't call, you don't text, you never answer my messages. I mean, how are we supposed to move forward with this relationship?